I was watching the VE Victory in Europe Day uh, celebrations on the BBC yesterday and I was thinking at what point are they going to start comparing uh, World War II to Covid-19. I didn't have to wait long. Um, they, they did of course. And I thought they've lost all sense of perspective, haven't they? I mean, there is nothing similar uh, between being a World War II soldier and being um, a, a citizen of a European country today when it comes to death rates. Nothing whatsoever. And, and people have just gone quite mad about it. I was in the local co-op uh, yesterday morning and there was a woman in there who looked as though she had just come off some shift work at the uh, virus control laboratory making, making germ warfare. She was kitted out in all sorts of protective clothing. And I made the mistake of getting a little bit too close to her in one of the aisles and she literally jumped into the next aisle and shrieked, really unbelievable, as she was sort of in mid-air. And I thought, she honestly thinks that, uh, that, that she's going to die. And, you know, something really peculiar is going on here. I'm not, I'm not downplaying this whole COVID-19 thing. And I do understand it's real and that some poor souls have succumbed to it. But where is the sense of perspective in all this insanity? Perspective seems to have disappeared completely amidst a, a sea of hysteria. But a sense of perspective is important. Um, and this isn't a joke, by the way. But for example, how many people died last year uh, ineptly putting on their trousers, uh, failing miserably, tottering about, falling over and breaking their necks? Only eight is the answer, uh, but it's, it's enough. That's enough to make a minute statistical dent in the annual mortality figures because trouser-related accidents accounted accounted for 0.00006% um, of all deaths in England and Wales in 2019. Now, so whilst there's a fractional risk of death uh, when it comes to the donning of trousers, I think it's a risk we should be prepared to take and I feel it would be quite wrong for the government to close down the country in order to protect us from early trouser death syndrome. I've just looked at the death statistics by age of those dying from COVID-19 up to the 24th of April, which makes for interesting reading. If you're aged between 0 and 19, you are only twice as likely to die from COVID-19 uh, as you are from falling victim to your trousers. At uh, age between th uh, 20 and 39, the risk of death becomes 28 times as likely uh, as slipping into a pair of Levi's, assuming Levi still exists, that is. Um, age 40 to 59 gets a tad riskier, maxing out at a 0.002% chance of being knocked off by COVID-19, uh, which equates to uh, 290 times the death rate caused by murderous tan corduroys. Uh, for the over 60s and beyond, the threat is real, so I won't joke about it. In fact, I intend to make another video about the dreadful predicament the government has put them into, but you know, my best possible advice to the elderly today would be to avoid adding to any external risk factors, uh, or avoid adding them to the existing COVID-19 risk factor, and uh, just give up on trousers altogether. Going back to the young and the relatively young, which just about includes me, if we look at the overall percentage chance of dying from COVID-19 uh, for those aged between 0 and 60, we see it equates to 0.003%, which is as statistically irrelevant as the 0.00006% of known annual trouser disasters. And even if the COVID-19 death rate uh, is multiplied by a hundredfold, it's still so low that if you rounded that figure up to the nearest full number, it would be zero, zero percent. And what are your chances of surviving COVID-19 for those aged 0 to 60? Answer, 99.98 percent, which if you round it to the nearest full number is 100 percent. 
So our rulers have closed down the country, tanked the economy and locked us all up because of an effective death rate of 0% and an effective survival rate of 100% uh, for those aged between uh, 0 and 60. And these percentage figures are rather different to the 33% death rate in the Great Plague. So why is this dose of corona being treated as the Great Plague? Perhaps Bill Gates might be just the chap to help, uh, to help answer that one. He has so generously and civic-mindedly donated many millions to many university disease research departments, so I'm pretty sure he knows exactly what's going on.